lots of students have confusion regarding the difference between mtech and ms and it is usually those candidate who have low gate score or average gate score because the candidate who have higher gate score will be going for mtech we will see the reason why so let's see the difference between mtech and ms based on different different criteria like admission procedure placement coursework right the first is structure of the course so mtech is course oriented right so here you will have to study number of coursework in the first year so intensive coursework will be designed by the college like you do in the btech right in first semester 6 to 7 subject will be there then in second semester again 6 to 7 subject so in first year you will have to take 12 to 14 coursework and lab work then in second year you have to take your project work right so intensive coursework is there in this mtech whereas ms is research oriented right so here intensive research work is required rather than number of coursework so based on your research area you will have to take 5 to 6 coursework and then it will be completely research work so research work is intensive here right next is admission so for mtech in most of the college it is directly based on gate score that's why higher gate score is required for the mtech for ms if you have low gate score or average gate score then you can apply for the ms so but here you will have to appear for written test and then interview so call for the written test and interview will be based on gate score and your academic performance in graduation right for the written test and interview you have to prepare any one subject of your interest and mathematics for example let's say if you are interested in structure aerospace structure then you will have to study the fundamental of structures and mathematics let's say you are applying for aerodynamics then you have to study the fundamental of aerodynamics gas dynamics fluid mechanics and mathematics so mathematics so is compulsory and one subject of your interest let's say you are applying in mechanical department thermal science then you have to study thermodynamics thermo machinery and mathematics right one subject of your interest and then one mathematics subject right for written test and interview call will be based on gate score and academic performance so if you have low gate score then you can apply for ms next is duration right mtech is time bounded course its duration is 2 years right whereas there is no specific duration for ms it usually take 2 to 3 years to complete the research work right this time boundation right this time limitation time duration is the main reason that top rankers and most of the student used to prefer mtech over ms right because they are sure about getting the degree within the 2 year once they take the admission right whereas here it may go up to 3 year also based on the research work right next is stipend so in both mtech and ms you will get the stipend there is no difference 12400 per month for mtech same here in ms also next is specialization so first of all for mtech see in few college like iisc and iit madras specialization can be decided later after first year right first year will be common for everyone and then you can decide your project in this second year so based on your project your specialization will be decided right in iisc and iit madras right but in some other college like iit bombay iit kanpur specialization is already decided at the time of admission for example if you apply for mtech aerospace in iit bombay then there will be different different specialization right aerospace structure aerospace propulsion flight mechanics and control correct similarly in iit kanpur too so specialization is already decided at the time of admission whereas in few college like iisc and iit madras 
you can decide your specialization after first year so there you get time to explore more and then you can choose your project based on your project your specialization will be decided right whereas here in ms it is already fixed even before taking the admission right and that is based on the subject of your written test and interview for which you have applied correct for example if i am interested in structure and i have applied for the structure then i have to take the written test of structure and interview of structure panel right so my specialization will be already decided even before the admission correct next is placement so both mtech and ms both candidates are equally eligible to sit in the placement in second year in second year and after that right here you need to take the permission from your guide based on the research work he may or may not allow you right let's say if more research work is still left right then he will not allow you then in that case you can sit in the placement next year right but in mtech definitely you are going to take part in placement in second year right so this is the second most important reason that why top ranker goes for mtech rather than ms right here you need to take the permission from your guide then only you can take part in the placements next is notification for admission for mtech notification comes once in a year in the month of march and april after gate results right whereas intake is done twice a year for ms for summer and winter session in winter session during november and december you will have less competition as compared to the summer session right and now regarding the number of seats number of seats are more for mtech and less for ms because here for ms it depends upon the project that institute and professor have right so less seats for ms more seats for mtech correct intake is done twice a year june july summer session in november december winter session next is conversion to phd so for both mtech and ms after after first year you can convert your course work to direct phd if you have cgpa more than 8 right but here we will have one advantage that we already know that there is intensive research work here in ms as compared to mtech right so there is a possibility of extension of same research work of ms in phd so this is the advantage here for ms next is publication right to get the ms degree publication is usually required it is compulsory so this is the criteria followed by most of the college right whereas for mtech it is not compulsory right you can get your mtech degree even without publishing a paper correct now once you publish the paper and if you present it abroad then few institute uh, bear the expenses also for example when i was studying at iit chennai then they used to give around 1.5 lakhs to ms candidate to present the paper abroad but that was not given for mtech for ms they used to give up to 1.5 lakhs so it depends upon the college also right it is not fixed that they will be definitely giving you it depends upon the college right so these are the main difference between mtech and ms and i hope that this will clear your confusion regarding the difference between mtech and ms if you have low gate score then you can apply ms at old iits and at new iits also right and if you have higher gate score then you can go for mtech right if you are interested in research only then this is the best for you right if you want to get the placement as soon as possible to get the industry experience then mtech is best for you right so based on the gate score you can decide right and based on the 
uh, interest also like if someone is interested only in research work right if he if he or she want to do phd then ms is right option 